Rich TV here at the CP3 National Middle School Combine in Los Angeles. And to my right, I have James Prescott all the way from Virginia. Man, how you feeling today, man? Good. Now, what are you looking forward to this weekend? Competition and do work and show who I am so I can get more exposure. Okay, now exactly for the people who don't know who you are, explain yourself. Who, who are you? What, what's your game like? A shifty guard, good jump shot, know how to dish the ball, and know how to dribble and handle the rock. Okay, you got that, you got that ball on the string, like my boy Kyrie Irving? <laughs> okay, okay. Now, this player's coming from all over the world. We got players coming from out the country. What are you going to prove this weekend? That it don't matter who they is, they can't guard me. So they can't stay in front of me, so I'm going to get on the work. Any, anybody can get it, huh? You the, you the can, man. Anybody can get it, huh? Anybody. It's like that, huh? Okay, now, what do you need to improve on to take your game to the next level? Um, mostly my agility. Like, I should be jumping higher, my speed, my footwork, and work on my dribbling a little bit more. That's true. I mean, I go to open gym like once a week, and I feel like it's at certain aspects of the game that I need to improve on myself. And I'm trying to improve my jump shot, man. What can I do to improve my jump shot? I shoot like 100 jumpers a day, but it's still not good. What can I do to get better at my jump shot? I mean, working on your form and just keep on shooting and looking at videos because YouTube show you everything. Yeah, man, I think I'm going to get me one of the basketballs that get you the, the perfect form, man. It's, it's something with my form, man. I used to be able to shoot, but I, I started lifting weights. Now I'm a little bit off. Now, I'm going to ask you this, man. I want you to be honest. What do you think about middle school basketball rankings, man? They always ranking players one, two, three, four, and it really don't matter, but they do it. What do you think about it? What's your personal opinion about it? I mean, it really don't matter because anybody can play good at any time, and then they'll have a bad game when people are not there. And when they play, they just playing. So, I mean, it don't really matter. And they got networks and connections. Yeah, man, hey. I'm gonna tell you this, man. It don't matter if you ranked right now or not. You gotta keep working because the people that's not working, they're gonna get exposed, you know? What you're not doing, you're gonna get exposed. So you gotta, gotta keep working no matter what. Now, what do you know about Chris Paul, CP3? I mean, when his grandfather died, he scored 98 points, was it? 98, it, it was 61. It was 61, 98, that's, that, that's pushing it a little bit. <laughs> what else you know about CP3, man? Uh, he, he like top three guards in the NBA right now, and he went to Wake Forest. So name the top three guards in the NBA then. Kyrie Irving one, Chris Paul two, Ron J. Rondo three. Hey, I don't know if you can put Ron John Rondo in the top three. He used to be one of my favorites, but his attitude is messed up, man. You know, and I think the attitude is the most important part of basketball because you got to be coachable. What do you think is the most important part about basketball? You know, scoring, being coachable, what do you think? Being coachable, really, because you can't score without being coachable and you can't learn new things. Right, okay, now I'm gonna ask you one more question, man. And I want you to be real with me. And I, you know, I might not like your answer. Who gonna win the NBA championship this year? Cavs. Where I'm from? Akron, Ohio. Hey, you, are, you already know, man, you already know. Hey, go out there and ball up this weekend. <laughs>